welcome to episode number 74 of the ABCs from God, the truth about being Christian. Today's show is entitled, Godzilla Comes to Christ. In last week's show, we shared how to find your God-given strengths. If you're new to our channel, welcome and thank you for joining us today. What is unstoppable and looks like a gigantic standing lizard? Godzilla. And how is it that Godzilla comes to call Jesus Christ his Lord and his Savior? Well, despite this creature seeming to be indestructible, there is something called sin that holds him and you and me back from a relationship with the one and only true God. And as any sinner, yes, you and I, Godzilla must first admit that he is a sinner. Then secondly, he must begin to follow Jesus. Bible quote. From the book of John, chapter 16, verses 32 and 33. Indeed, the hour is coming, yes, has now come, that you will be scattered, each to his own, and will leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you have peace. In the world you will have trouble and tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Well, Godzilla, like each of us, has found trouble in this world, and in this trouble, we, like Godzilla, have tried to solve it all on our own. And the buildup of these troubles creates chaos in our lives. The mess of problems may seem insurmountable, but there is a way out for us. As Godzilla, in his many movies, he finds ways out of what seems impossible situations. So we, too, find our God who triumphantly states that he has overcome the world for you and for me. Are you overcome with anxiety lately? Has your idealistic world been thwarted by forces beyond your control? Or are things going your way and all seems cheery and bright? Well, my friends, there will be a day when we each take our last breath in this world. It could be today. And for some of us, it will be a hard-fought breath that sees no future ahead of it, a horror to the spirit. While for others, that last breath of air will be to a new beginning, that is, with our conquering God, the one and only Jesus Christ, who persevered, like Godzilla, to his last breath. And what did he persevere in? Well, in carrying out a mission that seemed impossible, yet he and only he was able to carry it out. Here, listen to his last words. Again, from the book of John, chapter 19, verse 30. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Well, have you lived like a Godzilla in this world so far? plowing through everything, every problem and everyone in your way, getting what you want in this world without the thought of the next one, the eternal world. It is time this Easter holiday weekend to come to understand what this yearly 2,000-year-old celebration is all about. Yes, of course, it is about God's loving grace freely given to us. And it is about the last breath of air. It is about a new breath of life eternal life, when the man named Jesus Christ died a sacrificial death for all mankind on the cross, and then he rose from the dead, conquering your sin and my sin for all time. If we but turn from that sin, forsake it, and then turn our life over to God for good. Now, our life really begins in this world and the next. Let's pray. Oh, dear Father, despite the awful torment, the mental, physical, and spiritual torment that you, the Spirit, and your Son, Jesus, went through on the cross 2,000 years ago, we celebrate this Easter weekend for what you did for us, conquering death. Thank you, dear Jesus, for your loving, bloody sacrifice. Thank you for making my last breath, not a breath of horror, but an honor breath, that is, an honor for me to be with you in your heavenly paradise for all eternity. Until that breath, Lord, we, your saints, shall persevere in sharing your law, your grace-filled love, and your light in the darkness of this world. 
Amen. Well, please join with me for next week's show entitled, Be the Light. If you enjoyed the show, please now hit the pause button and help support the show by smacking the like and the subscribe buttons. As well, share the show with someone who you think would benefit or enjoy it. For those of you who are currently without a church group, please feel free to go to my description and listen to a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. We also recommend our brothers down south, Alistair Begg at Truth for Life, and John MacArthur at Grace to You. Well, if you've just come to Jesus Christ or have been following Him for a while, begin or keep up your daily habit of reading the Holy Bible. Be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths, His ABCs, about being Christian. God bless.